and we're all going to die. But not tonight on the Friday Night Show. I'm your host, Sean, and this is the show where we get members of the public to come in and play games as famous characters so we don't actually have to hire them. <laughs> now, let's take a sneak peek about who is here tonight. <laughs> Come on in, guys. Hi, I'm Fiona Bell, and my passion is Harry Potter. Harry Potter came out in 2001, and since then I've been hooked. I was only four years old, and I had all the books. I've got all the collections. I've even met some of the main cast, and I've been on red carpet shoots. I can quote every single film. Master has presented Dobby with a sock. Dobby is me. You foul! All loads of them evil little cockroach! I'm the ultimate Harry Potter fan. I know everything about it. I'm not going to be beaten on this show. Gangsters, what's up, guys? Come on in. Hi, my name is Sam Heyman, and my passion is super bad. The first time I saw the film was in 2007 when it was released. I was only 10 years old, but ever since then I've absolutely loved the film. I've been quoting it ever since, and most of my friends say I look like one of the main characters, McLovin. Uh, since then I've been trying to uh, get employed as McLovin look like, but it hasn't gone too well for me. I am McLovin. I am McLovin. My knowledge of Super Bad is absolutely unparalleled, and I'm definitely not going to be beaten on the show. Bring it on. Trust me, I'm the doctor. Come on in, guys. Hello, my name is Joe, and I'm passionate about Doctor Who. Uh, I first got Doctor Who when it came back in 2005. Uh, my dad, who watched it as a kid, he got me into it. He said, watch this new show, it's really good, you'll love it. And I was like, mm, I'm not too sure about it. He said, it's about a guy called Doctor. And I'm saying, Doctor Who? <laughs> and he went, yeah, exactly, no one knows who he is. And then on, I watched it with him, four episodes in, and it was brilliant. Loved it. Love it even now. It's my favourite show still. Uh, I know everything about it, all the quotes. I'm a doctor. I'm a time lord. I'm 906 years old. I'm the one who's going to save all your lives. There's all six billion people on the planet below. I practically live in a universe. Uh, I know everything about it. I will not be beating my knowledge. You have a problem with that? <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> wow, well, that was very interesting. So, Joe, not that this has an obvious answer or anything, but why did you specifically choose the Doctor? Well, he's been my favourite character since I was seven, and I love him, and I, I love him now. Very nice, very nice. Fiona, and why have you picked this specific character of Harry Potter? Well, I always loved the books. I was very young when I read them, but as soon as the films came out, I've always been a fan. Mm, I, pre I prefer the films, personally. Yeah. Sam, mm -hmm. why do you consider yourself such a huge super fan of super bad to mother loving? Well, when I first saw the film, when McLovin's character came up, I was really inspired by him, and uh, everything he did just went straight to my heart. Truly, truly. <laughs> so now, now we know what you're all super fans of, let's play our first game. So a few weeks ago, I gave these contestants the task of collecting three food items of their character's favourite food, but they only had one minute to collect each of these around the shop. This included one drink, or liquid, and two items of food. But little did they know that these items would be blended together and now they will be competing to take a shot of their beverages the quickest. Mm. Oh, and one more thing. If you have picked up an incorrect item, we have replaced it with a gruesome substitute. Before we reveal anything, let's see how they got on. Okay, Fee, you got one minute to find your favorite Harry Potter snacks. Three, two, one, go. Okay, all right, let's go. Jelly beans? Quite 
25 seconds gone. Superbad snaps. Three, two, one, action. Ten seconds gone, sir. Seconds remaining, sir. Alcohol. More alcohol. Ten seconds. Spice up a bit with some bishop finger. Done. Fifty-eight seconds. Bishop Get finger. in. Yeah. Okay, Joe. You got one minute to find your favourite Doctor Who snacks. Three, two. What? Go! Right, okay, uh, let's just do, um, custard, 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 uh, ex exterminate, can I go with that? No? Okay, right, um, right, uh, oh, God, uh, oh, uh, ah. Uh. Twenty seconds so far. Custard, 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 good, good. Uh, right, first, uh, Oh, jelly babies. <laughs> there you go. Uh, freezer. 20 seconds left. Oh, uh, 20 uh, seconds left. Uh, freezer, fish cream. 10 seconds. Uh, fish fingers. It's not the clock. Fish fingers. He's done it in 56 seconds. Yeah! <laughs> So, Joe, what made you think that that was the Doctor's favourite food? Well, uh, Tom Baker, the fourth Doctor, always had jelly babies in his pocket. Always a sort of trademark snack. Mm. And in the 11th hour, when Matt Smith is the new Doctor, he eats fish fingers and custard. He d it's a very good one, that one. Oh, it's one of my favourites, yeah. yeah. Fiona, what about you? What made you choose those? Well, in the Harry Potter films, you see a lot of sweets that have been created by J.K. Rowling, and mm. I just thought, well, chocolate frog, Fredo, they go very well. Mm but quite expensive now, aren't they? Mm. Yeah. Sam, mm -hmm. what made you think that this was McLovin's favourite drink? Well, in the film you see McLovin go into the uh, supermarket and buy certain drinks, so I decided to recreate that and use that same drink. And for the pizza, he obviously pizza's a yeah. you know, party food, so Something I thought I might as well just bring that one along too. Brilliant. So how well do you think you all did? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I can Decent. finally reveal that Joe you are the only one with all three correct items. Oh. So you will win three points. Thank you. However, yeah, Fiona and Sam, well, you've only scored two out of three right, which oh. means you've only received two points. Oh. And unfortunately for you, the items you've chosen incorrectly have been replaced with something not as delicious. Oh. But before you change your minds, let's do this. Are you ready? You yep. must down these concoctions, and the first person to do so wins. Three, two, one, go. It's very close, it's close. Samuel, Joe, Fiona. Oh. So, winning very, very tightly is Sam, so he wins three points. Mm -hmm. Joseph, very close, you've won two points. And sadly, glugging behind with <laughs> one point is Fiona. So, how are we all feeling after that game? Anyone need a drink? <laughs> <laughs> Stop oh. it. Don't worry, there is plenty of time for you to recover, <laughs> as we are almost halfway through the show. Which means it's time for the lightning round. 
During this round, I will be asking all three contestants a series of trivia questions about their chosen characters, and they have one minute to answer correctly, as, as many correctly as they can. Is everybody ready? Yep. Yeah. Let's mm -hmm. play. Joe, yep. are you okay to go first? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, so your time of a minute will start now. Which actor played the 11th Doctor? Oh, uh, um, Matt Smith. Correct. As of the end of season seven, how old is the Doctor? Season seven. Uh, oh, he's... Season seven. Uh, 1,200. Incorrect. 1,107. In 2005, who was the Doctor's companion? Uh, Rose Tyler. Correct. When was the Doctor Who first episode aired? Oh, 23rd of November, 1963. Correct. The Krilliotane always had wings. True or false? Uh, false. Correct. Who said the following phrase? This is it, ladies and gentlemen. We are at war. Ooh, uh, Colonel... Ah, oh, pass. Incorrect. Captain Jack. How did the Doctor defeat the werewolf? Oh, I'm so sorry. The correct answer was they used the crystal and the telescope to drown it. Unfortunately, Joe, after that round, you have only scored... Nine points. Now, Fiona, after seeing Joe, how do you feel? Oh, you did pretty well. I'm kind of scared. Okay, well, we're going to give it a go, okay? <laughs> so your time of a minute starts now. How many brothers does Ron Weasley have? Five. Correct. How many times was nearly headless Nick hit in the neck with a blunt axe? Twice. Incorrect. 45. What is the yeah. symbol for Hufflepuff House? <laughs> a badger. Correct. How many posts are there on a Quidditch pitch? Post six. Correct. In what month is Harry Potter's birthday? December. Incorrect. July. What colour were the sparks that flew out of Harry's wand the first time he held it? Um, yellow. Incorrect. Red and gold. The crowning of which animal is fatal to, bas to basilisks? Pardon? The crowning of which animal is fatal to a basilisk? No idea. A rooster. What is the name of the... Ah, oh, I'm so sorry, but you've run out of time. So... In this next question, sorry about that, but you've only scored six points. Now, finally, we're coming up to you, Sam. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty confident, I think. I Brilliant. Know. Well, let's see, as your time starts now. Who punches Fogel in a liquor store? The police officer. Incorrect. A robber. What party-based mission does Seth and Evan undertake? Pass. To get alcohol... What year of high school are Seth and Evan in? Pass. Senior year. What name appears on Fogel's fake ID? McLovin. Correct. Who directed the movie Superbad? Pass. Greg Matola. What year was Superbad released? 2007. Correct. McLovin's mum had to be on set for the sex scene. True or false? False. Incorrect. It's true. What <laughs> PS2 game is Evan playing in his bedroom? The Getaway? The Getaway... I don't know... I'm so sorry, it was The Getaway Black Monday. Oh. Unfortunately, after that round, Sam, you only scored eight points. Mm. Which means, at the end of the right lightning round, the final scores are... Fiona lagging behind with six at third, Sam with eight at second, and the overall winner, so far, is Joe mm. with nine points. Now it's time to go to a break for our testers to recover. But don't go anywhere. <laughs>